Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave Nine video. All right, so we have a lot of things to talk about. So in this new update, Wolf Spirit Lyomila. Okay, so I was right. So this is a cash-only package. There's no way to purchase this with diamonds. But if you have some spare diamonds, you can buy one of these available Happy Halloween package. All right, so there's one with five star booster, one more with legendary booster, depending on which one you want. All right, Legend Scrolls. Um, you know, there's some rumors or predictions that a Jumpstart Quest 3 is going to come real soon, maybe at the end of November or somewhere in December. So if you guys want to be prepared, you want to stack up some Legend Scrolls, this is a pretty decent buy. All right, you can you get Legend Booster out from this as well and a bunch of Honor Points alongside with Red Slime Queens, which is always welcome. All right, and some gold. All right, so alongside, we also have this special supply box package. Seems like a decent value, it's going to be available for the next 24 hours So if you guys caught on early on this video, that's going to be uh, a very decent package to buy actually If you are a spending player, I would recommend buying this Over 2000% value So besides that, what else are we getting? Okay, so there is a very unique, okay When I say unique, I meant like super unique stuff going on right now With these hot deals Okay, so these hot deals I believe will last, uh, look at this, exchange crystals for other items for 18 days. So does that mean that we're going to get, you know, like these incredible hot deals for the next 18 days? Like is it mentioned somewhere right here? Let me check. 22nd, 3rd, 4th, okay. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy if, if it's really the next uh, 18 days. Like here it says 16 days though. So that's pretty, pretty insane. So if you're a veteran player like me, right? I'm sure you have plenty of these crystals. You have plenty of uh, low crystals, medium crystals, and high crystals. So you can just buy. In this case, you're exchanging the low one for the medium one, which I don't think I mind because I do have plenty of low ones and there's only so many three stars and four stars, right? So there are more five stars compared to three stars and four stars, ideally. So the low ones, like the value has dropped for sure. So I would, recommend buying this okay depending on make sure you guys check your supply all right don't uh, try to follow my footsteps because i'm a veteran player that i've been playing for very long so i have plenty of these crystals for sure all right this one for horseshoes i will buy this for sure and soul pieces as well because i don't need any of this now if you guys want to check just go to your uh, miscellaneous all right put go under back all right as you can see look at how many low crystals i have seventeen thousand fifteen thousand you know, 17,000. So anyone with a low or medium, I'll probably buy it. I have plenty of high crystals as you guys can see as well. So yeah, I should be able to afford buying all of this. I don't think I need this, but you know what? Trading the medium for the high, maybe I'll just buy it as well. All right. I feel like this is pretty refreshing if you ask me because it's something different. You're no longer using diamonds or gold. You can actually purchase stuff using awakening crystal, right? And this is something that I do appreciate because you probably don't need that many of all of these Awakening Crystals. And now you can use this as a currency, which is a bonus. All right. So besides that, Jumpstart Quest. All right. For those of you who are not aware, what do you get in the new Jumpstart Quest? Okay. So I have already done all of those. Round 4 completion reward, you get to receive 5 star companion selection ticket. Companion selection ticket. That is insane. So you start from level 1, right? So level 1, I've already done this one. Okay, but I can still reclaim all of this. So there's a lot of things to do, right? Even if you are new, even if you are a veteran, there's so many things to do. Look at this. Recruit mercenary 10 times. Just go on normal scrolls. I think it will work as well. Use 10 normal scrolls. This one, you get this, okay? I actually appreciate that. So 4 star warrior. 5 star skill book times 3. Wow. I would take it. I would take it. 4 star defender. I've already done that. Legend mercenary. Obviously, I've already gotten that. So as you guys can see, plenty of 5 star gift times 500. Alright, that's going to give you companions. Unfortunately, Fate System only works once. So if you have already claimed yours. So another legendary right here. And all the way to 4 star, 5 star magician, 4 star defender. I've already received that. Oh, you get 2 5 star companion selection ticket? Wow! Legend gift times five. Okay, guys. Legend gift. Legend book. Five star companion selection ticket. 
Make sure you guys log in, man. There's just plenty of insane stuff. Holy. All right. Uh, very cool for sure. Okay. Today's video, I want to focus more on the new mercenary Galania. But before we start, if you guys have not yet uh, obtained uh, the B3 costume right here, alright, make sure you guys do so. There's also a Gate of Chaos event going on right now. I'll have a guide coming soon. I'll need to work on it first. Okay, first things first. Let's claim that I've already recruited that. Oh, all of these are here in the mailbox. Cheerleader B3 for free. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Sorry, Kaylin. Time for Beatrice to come on in. There we go. Our first official Beatrice costume. I don't think she has any costume. Can I eat chocolate monsters? Why do you even ask? So let's talk about Galenia a little bit. Okay, so I think uh, she's someone that I'm really excited for. Let's have a look at her skills. Okay, so 106 years old. Okay, very old, very old. Not my type, but apparently a lot of players like her. Okay, what is she all about? If you guys are not aware, she has this ability called the Immortal Drug Bestowal. So which will basically set your HP to 1 instead of dying. So your units will never die from any form of counter, which is insane. Alright, removes Immortal Drug effect when receiving damage to death. Okay, so when you die, you, will, you basically will not die. You will get reduced to 1 HP and that effect will be removed. Okay, prohibits mercenaries from receiving immortal drug bestowal effect again once you have received that. Okay, doesn't receive damage for one turn. Very cool. So what does this skill does? Bestows crit damage boost to allies when supporting them. Okay, and this will give you 10% crit damage, time support percent. Okay, that is pretty decent I guess. And then we have this attack boost. Okay. Alright, so she gives almost everything. Alright, so once this go high enough, uh, you not only get attack, but you also get uh, crit rate if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, at plus 9, you get a little bit of crit rate. So she gives attack, she gives crit rate, she also gives crit damage. So that is a lot of requirements already fulfilled. And she has DOT immunity for the awakening skill, which is very cool. So plus 10, ideally the goal, the minimum requirements for you to use her is plus 10 because that's where you get the cross tiles, right? And then you get a bunch of this cool stuff at plus 11. This DOT will help you reduce damage as well. So going all the way to plus 15. Okay, so this skill remains the same. 28 turns. Uh, all her skill is 28 turns, I think. 28 turns, this one is 48. 70% uh, crit damage. 70% attack. 40% crit rate. 28 turns. And also DOT immunity. So she is meant to be used as a Seto counter. Now a lot of players will say, Oh, she's so good with Alec. Oh, she's so good with Livia. Like, I don't see it that way. For me, I feel like she's good with everyone. Even Adin and Angelica, which has been bullied for the longest time ever. Now she's going to make them relevant again. So I feel like she's going to make a lot of units that's not relevant before this. She's going to make them good. Adin is going to come back to meta happily. Alright, Angelica is going to come back to meta happily. Uh, I think Eliana might not be used that much anymore. I'm not entirely sure, but for sure, she is going to be strong. So this counter Seto heavily, right? For sure, she's uh, like a massive Seto counter. Even this skill is meant to counter Seto because sometimes even if the add-in comes and hits Seto, HP reduced all the way to 1, right? You know, Seto still have DOT and Adin is not immune to DOT generally on his own. So giving this means that no one will die to any stupid uh, Seto's DOT anymore, which is good. And also, she's gonna counter Jin in a way as well. So, you know, most units that previously dies to Jin instantly now will not if they have her buff. So that is going to be really interesting. I can't wait to put her in action. But my concern is where does she fit in the supporter meta right now? Because if you think about it, Refitia is like the standard, right? So can she work alongside with Refitia? Or are players going to replace Refitia for her? I doubt it because Refitia is still going to be really solid. So yeah, uh, despite, you know, her having decent buffs, her range is only a cross tile at, at most, right? At plus 10. That is only, uh, that is considering that you are willing to invest in her. So I feel like she will not replace Refitia, but I'm kind of curious. Uh, maybe more players are going to run double supporters, Refitia and Galania, and going to try to make them work with Warriors. So this is going to bring back a lot of Warriors, 
specifically into the meta and maybe the majors like Seol Ah, you know, will fall off a little bit. But we will see for sure uh, if that is going to shape into the way that it is. Alright guys, so that's going to be it from me for this video. Uh, there are plenty of things, so I will try to work on the Gate of Chaos as soon as I can. I'm going to prepare for a live stream shortly after, so stay tuned for that. As always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye.